R is a powerful programming language used for statistical computing and graphics. Installing it on Ubuntu is a simple process, and in this video, I will guide you through the steps. We will also cover how to uninstall it if you ever need to. So let's get started. First things first, open up your terminal. Now let's update the package list. Provide your user password. After that, install the RBase package and its dependencies using this command. Here RBase is the main R package. It includes the core components and libraries necessary for running R. And RBase dev includes all the additional files and headers needed for developing or compiling R packages. And the option Y at the end answers yes to any confirmations that may appear during the installation process. Now hit enter. After the installation is complete, you can verify it by typing this command. This will display the version of the installed R. You have successfully installed R on your Ubuntu system. Now let's explore a bit within its environment. Type R on your terminal and hit enter. You are now in the R console. You can perform various statistical analysis and create plots here. And when you're ready to exit, simply type Q bracket and press enter. And then type Y if you want to save the image or N if you don't want to save it. Now let's talk about uninstalling R. Perhaps you want to clean up some space or need to reinstall it for some reason. Let me show you how you can do that. Execute this command in your terminal. Here, the purge option ensures a more thorough removal of all the configuration files and packages along with the remove option. Now press enter, provide the password, type Y to confirm. Following the removal of the packages, it's necessary to eliminate any remaining R directories. And to do that, run this command. Here, usr slash local slash lib slash r indicates the path of the R directory. And this command forcefully and recursively removes this directory and all its contents due to the RF option. So there you have it, setting up R on Ubuntu in just a few simple steps. And don't worry if you missed any of the commands, you can find them all listed in the video description below.